Hey everyone, welcome back to Chronically Overdressed. So today is the second part of my skincare ritual. Today I'm going to talk about my daycare ritual. If you haven't watched my first video my, of my evening care ritual, please make sure you do so. There's a lot of great information about the skincare line that I use and um, a little bit of background of, you know, of who I am as an esthetician and why I have chosen to use a lot of the products that I use. So just a quick recap from my previous video. I am an esthetician and I do use mostly Dr. Hauschka products for my skincare rituals. Um, you'll see within my daycare, I do use a couple of other brands and I'll explain why I've chosen to use those versus Dr. Hauschka products. Um, but I have oily skin generally. I used to have acne when I was younger. I don't any longer. Um, I do have a little bit of redness to my skin. I have a lot of, I have a high histamine reaction. Um, so whenever I touch my face, uh, my face turns red. And, um, but I, my skin's not terribly sensitive as anymore. It used to be when I was younger. I do have some hyperpigmentation. I grew up in San Diego in Mexico um, and I was a beach baby. So a lot of my sun damage happened when I was much younger. Um, but you know, it's still there and it's very difficult to get rid of. So that's basically my skin. I have been using Dr. Hauschka products for over 20 years now, and I still absolutely love them. They have really made my skin just feel so happy and wonderful. And um, you know, I'm 45 now and I really feel like it has, um, it has contributed greatly to the health of my skin and you know just keeping keeping some of those wrinkles at bay and keeping me looking as youthful as i can for as long as i can so one of the things i wanted to clarify from my previous video was actually how i cleanse my skin i'm sorry i didn't go into full details um, i had a couple of questions about that so i want to clarify a little bit um, so the basin of water that i use that is my base of all the water i don't do running water um, I just use that basin. I put the more lavender um, bath essence in there. And when I'm removing my makeup, again, I'm using my super sponge. So I dunk it in that water and I use that to remove all of my makeup. And then I use my little diaper and um, I'll kind of dunk that in the water with the more lavender and I'll place it on my face again just to kind of warm my face this is part of the ritual that i absolutely love it's part of aromatherapy because of the more lavender um, and it just feels so nice to have a nice warm compress on your face then i will use my soothing cleansing milk to remove um, any extra makeup but the sponge really does a good job removing all of the makeup but basically just cleansing my skin so i will just rub the um the cleansing milk all over and then again i will dunk the compress the little diaper in the water again and then i will wipe all of the cleansing milk away with that so i'm not splashing water on my face i'm not um you know i'm just using that one basin of the warm water to uh to Kind of dunk all of my stuff and remove my makeup that way so i hope that clears things up a little bit for you sorry i wasn't a little bit more um more clear on that um but i hope that helps so just as with my evening ritual my daycare ritual is still pretty simple i don't use a whole lot of products um, there are some additional products that I may use on a weekly or monthly basis. Um, I do try to be pretty regular with it, but it doesn't always work out that way. But my daily skincare ritual is cleanse, tone, moisturize, and sunscreen. That is it. The first product I use in the morning is the cleansing cream. And I do this in the shower because it makes it really easy to wash off and uh, I really love this product. Um, it is one of the products, one of two products in Dr. Hauschka's line that uh, seems to confuse a lot of people and I get it because it's completely different from 
any of the products, at least that I have known. Um, it's It comes out, it's a paste, but it is not an exfoliant. You do not scrub it on your skin. You don't rub it on your skin at all. There's a specific way that they teach you how to put it on. The application of this product is actually quite beautiful and doing it in our um, in the actual facial is one of my favorite parts uh, but this is the part of my daycare ritual that is kind of equivalent to the more lavender um, portion of my evening ritual it's um, it's a time for me to actually be very mindful of my movements and what I'm doing and how I'm putting this product on. So it's really simple, but it does take a little bit more time and, and that's that's kind of part of the process that I like, that the mindfulness of it, is you use the paste and you press it onto your skin using just the, the um, top parts of your fingers. And what this does is it actually stimulates your lymphatic system. So it's helping to, again, support the skin in its natural process to detoxify and to cleanse. Uh, the product itself is very activating on the skin. So a lot, sometimes if you have, um, if you have acneic skin or really oily skin, you may see some breakouts over the next couple of days after using it. Um, it's normal and it's okay because that's it's the product is doing its job it will calm down after a while once your you know your skin gets regulated to it but it is a wonderful cleansing cream it's very it's kind of a deep cleanser it's gently exfoliating but you never ever ever want to scrub um, I'm gonna get to the whole non exfoliation idea that Hauschka has um, in a moment but it is not an exfoliator it's strictly a cleansing cream so the reason I like to do it in the shower is because it is a little bit um, pastier and grittier so I can just wash it off simply in the shower. Once I've gotten out of the shower, I just quickly spray on my clarifying toner again all over. And then uh, while my skin is still moist from the toner, I use my Melissa Day Cream. Now. This is a beautiful product. This is again, one of the newer products from Dr. Hoshka. Um, it is really geared towards combination, leaning towards oily because it has a mattifying effect. They use rice powder in there to, um, to help absorb some of the oil of the skin, but it's still very hydrating. It's a very light moisturizer. It does not feel heavy at all. It absorbs right into the skin, but it helps to mattify your skin, which is lovely. And it has a beautiful scent. Melissa is kind of a, um, it's lemon balm. So it has a beautiful kind of citrusy scent to it, but it's quite light. After I put on my moisturizer, I use my Phytoactive Eye Cream from Glow Skin Beauty. Now this is the brand of makeup that I use. They carry makeup and skincare. And the reason that I don't use um, Dr. Hauschka's eye creams, there's two eye creams that I think are absolutely beautiful. One is just the Daily Revitalizing Eye Cream, which is just the standard, good for you know anyone up to the age of you know 40, 45, 50. Um, but I felt like it wasn't hydrating my the skin under my eyes enough. And so I started to use the regenerating line, which is geared towards more mature skin, but I felt like that was too heavy. So I felt a little bit like Goldilocks in there. It was, you know, one was a little too light, one was a little too heavy. Um, and I actually got a sample of this when, um, when I did my makeup order and I fell in love with it. And it's, um, it's, it's light but it feel it's very hydrating and i definitely have seen a big difference in some of the um like crepiness that i felt like i was getting um it is it, it says it's rich moisture but it's it absorbs so beautifully it's not it's not super heavy at all and it uses plant stem cells to um to help with regeneration which is fantastic so that's my eye cream and i love it to death and the final product that I use is of course sunscreen. So my preferred is a physical sunscreen, anything with titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. 
and the one that I absolutely love, I've used it for years, is Naturopathica. This is the um, Lavender Protective Moisturizer. Now this is an SPF 17. I normally wear a, a 30, but since I'm not going out as much and uh, right now, the 17 is working just fine for me. Um, once uh, you know I'm going outside <laughs> more often, I will switch back to the 30. Uh, but this is a zinc oxide product and it works wonderfully. I absolutely love it. Um, it smells amazing. It goes, you know, it, it, it doesn't leave too much of a whiteness on my skin, um, but typically zinc oxide and titanium oxide will do that because it's a, it's a physical barrier. One of the additional items that I use on a pretty regular basis, I try to do this once a week, is my revitalizing mask. This has been my absolute favorite mask forever. This is one of the first products that I used um, when I first started using Dr. Hauschka. And it is a powerhouse, it really is. It makes my skin just absolutely glow. It feels plumped, it feels amazing. Um, I love the smell of it and it goes on, it actually goes on very much like a moisturizer. Um, it only takes about 20 minutes to leave on and I generally will do this when I'm washing and setting my hair. So I'll put on the, re the revitalizing mask prior to getting in the shower let it sit for 20 minutes and then I'll just wash it off in the shower and my skin is glowing and it loves it and um, I try to do this once a week. Um, it, it's just a beautiful, beautiful mask. They also have a firming mask and a soothing mask which are equally lovely um, but my favorite is still the revitalizing mask. Okay, so I mentioned earlier about the non-exfoliation aspect of the Dr. Hoshka philosophy. And I will tell you right here that I do not exfoliate. I um, occasionally, I will, and I will go over one of the products that I, do, that I use. I think maybe I do this every, I don't know, three months or so. Um, but the whole idea of Dr. Hoshka and why they don't use any exfoliation products is they understand that the skin exfoliates naturally on its own. So our skin care, our skin cells migrate from their deepest layers up to the surface, you know, the uh, superficial layers about every 28 days or so. That's that's normal process. That process starts to slow down when we get a little bit older, older, but it's still, that's the process. That is how our skin works. And if you recall from my previous video, really their philosophy, there's their whole skincare line is in support of your skin's natural functions. One of the ideas behind not exfoliating, doing any additional exfoliation is, um, it actually helps to promote aging because our skin needs that protective layer of dead skin cells to protect from the environment, from outside sources, from the sun. That is what skin does. It's a protective barrier. And so when if we are constantly taking off that layer and exposing that brand new baby skin underneath, that skin needs to mature and die quickly in order to protect you again so you're perpetuating the aging process so you're you're pushing that normal process in a much faster rate now when i'm talking about exfoliation i'm generally talking about over exfoliation the problem with that is that um, people over exfoliate without knowing it a lot of skincare products have exfoliation ingredients in there that they might not even know uh, so you could have um, you could have alpha hydroxy acids or beta hydroxy acids in your cleanser, in your toner, in sometimes even in your moisturizer, your serums, um, and then a lot of times they're adding an additional either manual or chemical exfoliation on a weekly or biweekly basis on top of that. So that's over exfoliation. Now, as I mentioned, I maybe exfoliate, um, I do like an actual exfoliating mask, maybe once every three months or so. My preferred method of exfoliation is enzymes. And the reason for that is enzymes only attack dead skin cells. They do not look at, they don't have any 
care in the world for live skin cells. So they're only taking the dead skin cells. Enzymes are a lot more gentle on the skin. Um, they're much, much better for anybody that has sensitive skin. Um, and they're just, it's, it's a gentle exfoliation. So the one that I use is Juice Beauty. It's the green apple peel. I will I will do a little bit of a, an exfoliation, like maybe every three months or so. Um, I generally feel like I need to do it when, uh, when my skin's been really stressed out, if I've been traveling a lot, or um, just, you know, wearing makeup every day for, you know, multiple days in a row. Um, I just feel like sometimes my skin needs a little bit of assistance there. And so I, ch I prefer enzymes for exfoliation. But on the whole, I do not exfoliate my skin. It's something I worked with a lot of clients in the past to get out of that process. Um, again, most of them I would see a lot of their skincare products that they would come to me with already had some sort of exfoliating properties in there and then they were doing the additional exfoliation on top of it um, but honestly a you know using using my sponge and my um, my little cloth diapers that's enough exfoliation that i need and then the gentle exfoliation from my cleansing cream that's more than enough uh, for just basic exfoliation so like I said, this is the Dr. Hoshka philosophy. It's, it's something that I have um, followed through with for the last you know 25 years. And um, it's I, I've definitely seen a major difference uh, for my skin as well as a lot of my clients who've stopped exfoliating. Well, that's my daycare skincare ritual. And just remember that if you ever want a, a little bit more in-depth information or a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can always book one with me through my website. I'll put the link in the description for you. Um, it's a great way just to, again, get, get me all to yourself and uh, ask any questions that you have about skincare, uh, what products might work for you. I could do a bit of a skin analysis and you know we can get you on, on the road to really good skin. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.